To evaluate this integral, we're going to split up the fraction as a sum of two fractions, sine of t over cosine squared t, plus the second one, tangent t over cosine squared t dt. And then we're going to treat this as two different integrals. So we'll have the first one, sine of t over cosine squared t dt. And we want to further simplify this second integral. Remember, tangent is sine over cosine, so this will become the integral of sine t over cosine cubed dt. Now both of these integrals can be evaluated using the same substitution, u equals cosine t. The reason this works is because both of them have a sine in the numerators, and du equals minus sine t dt. We need, still need a minus sign, so we'll make the adjustments. Multiply mi minus 1 times minus 1. And now I can rewrite this in terms of my new variable u. I have minus the integral du over u squared minus the integral du over u cubed. Sorry about the du. And to better see how to enter anti-differentiate, let's rewrite this as a power u to the minus 2 du minus the integral u to the minus 3 du. So we'll add 1 to the exponent, that it will result in u to the minus 1, multiply by the reciprocal, minus 1 times minus, so just get a positive u to the negative 1. And then over here I'll add 1 to negative 3 to get u to the negative 2, multiply by the reciprocal, which is going to be negative 1 half, times this negative 1 out here, so I have plus 1 half plus c. To finish the problem, I just need to rewrite u as cosine t, so then the final answer will be equal to 1 divided by cosine t plus 1 over 2 cosine squared t plus c.